Hello. Uh, let's talk about mid segment of a triangle. As the name suggests, uh, we are dealing with midpoints of a segment. In this case, in a triangle. So, mid segment of a triangle is a segment that connects the midpoints of two sides of the triangle. A triangle has three mid segments that forms the mid segment triangle. What is a mid segment triangle? As you can see in this particular diagram, the bigger triangle is DEF and there is another teeny tiny triangle which is triangle ABC. This triangle ABC is made up of the mid segments because point A, B and C these are mid points. A is the midpoint of segment DE, B is the midpoint of segment DF and C is the midpoint of segment EF. Based on this concept, let's try a few questions. Okay, in this example number one, they have given us triangle RST and they have also told us that segment MN is a mid segment. So it is a mid, -se mid segment that means M and N they are the midpoints and they want us to prove two things. One, that MN, segment MN is parallel to segment RS. That is the first thing that we need to prove. And the second thing that they are asking for is segment MN is equal to half of RS. R is the opposite to MN. To prove that these segments are parallel, if you recall what is, how to understand that the lines are parallel. Lines are parallel when the slopes are same. So for parallel lines we need same slope. Now to find slope I need to have the coordinates. So I already wrote the coordinates for R, S and T based on the diagram that is given to us. So we have R, S and T. Let's find out what is the midpoint of midpoint of segment R, S. Midpoint of segment R, S is nothing but point M, which is equal to point M. And how to find it out? Midpoint is the average of X and average of Y. Right? So let's do the calculation x1, y1, x2, y2. We have everything ready. My mistake, we need to find the midpoint of RT, not RS. So x1, y1, x2, y2. Let's plug everything back x1 is 2, x2 is 4. So average of x, same thing with y, 5 plus, I will write plus first and then I will see what is y2. y2 is negative 1. Write negative 1 in the brackets, step by step. If I calculate this, it will generate the coordinate 3 and 2. So, point M is 3 and 2. Let's find out what is the point M, N. Point N is nothing but the midpoint of segment ST. We will do the same drill again. In this case, let's say this is x3 and y3. So x3 plus x2 divided by 2 and y3 plus y2 divided by 2. Let's change the color. So we have 1, 
let's box it and let's find it out so that will give you x3 is negative 2 so negative 2 plus 4 divided by 2 and then we have 1 plus negative 1 divided by 2 and that will give you the coordinate 1 and 0 okay let's write the coordinates so for m we have 3 and 2 and for n we have 1 and 0 now we just got the coordinates we need to find out whether segment mn and rs they are parallel to each other or not let's find it out okay so we have the coordinates m and n let's find out what is the slope of mn okay slope of segment mn what is the slope slope is rise over run or change in y over change in x so it will be y coordinate y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 that is the formula i'm not writing it right now because we have used these coordinates earlier uh, these terms x2 and y2 but it is just to recall okay so we have um, y as 0 minus 2, y2 minus y1, and then x2 minus x1. That will give you negative 2 over negative 2 which is nothing but slope of 1. Let's do the same drill again and find out what is the slope of segment RS. Remember, these are the coordinates of R and S. Let's plug them. If I plug the uh, coordinates, let's, uh, it will be 5 minus 1, 2, minus minus 2 because x coordinate for s is negative 2 and that will also give the slope of 1 so as you can see the slopes are the same i can conclude since slopes are the same mn segment mn is parallel to segment rs we are done with the first part let's try the second part okay okay now the second part for the second part they want us to prove that segment mn is half of segment rs that means i need to find out what is the length of mn and what is the length of rs to find the length of a segment we need a distance formula what is the distance formula if you remember distance formula is based on pythagorean theorem which says x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared and everything inside the radical let's let's use that and try to find out what is the distance let's start with finding out the distance of rs for rs let's plug everything together so we have x2 minus x1 so 2 minus minus 2 squared why because x2 y2 x1 y1 just plug it in 
and then we have plus then y2 minus y1 y2 is 5 minus 1 squared let's neat this up if i solve it if i open the brackets i will get 2 plus 2 squared plus 4 squared and when we will solve it i will get a radical of 32 with further simplification you will get 4 radical 2 as the distance for the segment rs let's find out what is the distance between the points m and n the same drill again but with the coordinates m and n okay so 3 minus 1 squared plus 2 minus 0 squared let's simplify it further 3 minus 1 is 2 so 2 squared plus 2 squared that will give you radical of 8 and when you simplify it you will get 4 radical 2 radical 2 not 4 so 2 radical 2 so we have all the measurements ready here and as you can see with these calculation m n is half of 4 radical 2 how here you go if i multiply 2 with the segment length of mn right so 2 times 2 radical 2 it will give you 4 radical 2 which is nothing but segment rs right based on that principle i can conclude that m n is nothing but half of segment r s and we are done with our problem okay let's try one more okay uh, we just proved that if it is a mid segment then mid segment will be parallel to the opposite segment and it will be half of the opposite segment that is basically the theorem 6.8 which is called triangle mid segment theorem so it says de if de is the mid segment of triangle abc then de will be parallel to ac and we have the symbol of parallel right these two arrows and also de will be half of ac and because D is the midpoint of AB, AD will be equal to BD. And because E is the midpoint of BC, BE will be equal to EC. Let's use this in one example. In this particular example, they have given us that U, V, and W, they are the midpoints. Because they are the midpoints, I can say U M U is equal to L U and further L V is equal to N V and M W is equal to N W. This is our homework that we did. Okay, so L U is given to us as two x minus five. So if LU is 2x2 2 times x minus 5, UM will also be 2 times x minus 5. And LU plus UM is nothing but LM. When I will I plug all these values together, I will get the equation for LM as 4x minus 2. Further, from the triangle mid-segment theorem that we discussed earlier, VW is half of LM.